Right, welcome to my uh, little video about uh, my two pugs. You may have gathered from the description that one is discus launch and the other is electric launch now. All right, so the discus launch glider is actually my V2. Uh, so that's still discus launch, but it's my V1 that is now electric. Okay, uh, briefly the reason is I'm favoring the V2 pug for um, discus launching. I find I get higher launches, penetrates the breeze better. Um, I seem to be able to fly further away and, and come back. So it covers more of, a, of an area. So it then tends to be the pug that I fly. So rather than leaving my pug V1 redundant, I thought, well, why don't I just put uh, an electric motor in? Um, you know, there's some others that, that um, it's done now. So you've got the ELF, um, you've got F5K. So it seems to be growing in popularity, which is understandable because not everyone are able to discus launch for physical reasons. Um, it may be that um, they just can't get the technique right. I'm not particularly great at it myself. So, um, so it allows them to enjoy these sorts of gliders without actually having to um, struggle with getting them up to a reasonable height to get some flights in. So just quickly, the differences. So this is the V1, V2 Pug. The V1 was set up exactly the same. So the little battery pack at the front. The two servos were laid on their side. So you can see perhaps the control horn there and the other control horn there. So for the rudder and elevator. And my receiver was sat on top, just like that. Okay. Um, now, obviously I needed that space for all the other stuff to, to do with electric power. So now my servos are at the front of this area that's underneath the wing with um, a different receiver actually. Um, it's the GRX6 uh, FR Sky um, receiver. It's quite slim so I could lay that on its side uh, quite nicely. Uh, and I can actually, I'll set it up. I, I then have um, Vario as well on that then. Anyway, so as regards the power setup, so the motor at the front is um, a Turnigy 1811, uh, 3,900 kV. Um, I understand that's basically the same as, as a 10 gram motor. It seems to be the same specification, so it's probably the same motor. All right, I've got a little um, 10 amp uh, ESC there. I think it's 10 amp, it might be less. Um, it's decased and I've soldered directly to the pads from the motor and I've also shortened the power wire um, so you don't have all these wires everywhere trying to pack them in there's not much room there and of course uh, I've got a 300 milliamp hour uh, it's a 3570 C so delivers good power for a, such a small battery um, now as regards the actual uh, pod uh, you can see it's a bit more rounded okay so what I've done is I, I applied some extra bolster on the sides and on the top and the bottom and I put some quarter sorry a triangular strip into the corners that allowed me to sand then that nice shape to it um, and I didn't mention about the propeller. They were just some cheap propellers I had from years from years back. Um, some spare ones for my Ezio 800, which I subsequently converted to um, a pure slope sawer. So <laughs> it's funny that, isn't it? I convert one to a slope sawer and this one to power. Anyway, so these are all parts that I had. Um, I could have done it with uh, Vladimir Models. Uh, lovely little um, setup. Uh, but uh, that's 75 pounds a hit, so I didn't really feel like spending that kind of money on something that's experimental like this. Um, I would expect, if this flies okay, I would expect the electric launch version to um, handle the wind better because it's an extra 21 grams in total um, in weight. Uh, so 
This one is now, originally it was 97 grams, it's now 118. Okay, and my Pug V2, uh, if I remember rightly, was 91 grams. So, uh, quite a bit of weight difference between the two. But this one, the wing loading is still just below 4 ounces per uh, square foot. So that's brilliant. Um, whereas this one is something like 3.25 <laughs> ounces per square foot. So very, very low. So that that's brilliant. It's 4 ounces per square foot. It's really a, a good wing loading. Um, and probably not too bad if it is breezy. So I'm just going to see now how it goes. Um, I'm just going to plug in the power into the DLG version first. Um, have a few flights with that and then I'll have a go with the electric launch version. Oh. <laughs> uh, right, so I might just get on with the uh, ELG. I'm pretty certain conditions aren't going to allow me to enjoy any real flights with this. So let's do that. We'll view that as just a little warm up. Uh, there you go. Left rudder, right rudder, down elevator, up elevator. Motor seems to be plenty of power. <laughs> I think that's plenty of power. I've not measured it, but. I thought if it was good enough for Easy 0800, it's going to be good enough for this. I'm just going to do a test glide because I, I do think it's nose heavy at the moment, but it might be to its advantage. Oops! <laughs> That's typical, isn't it? That I do that. Wasn't that great though? My goodness. Let's try that again. Right, wow. Okay. Let's see what it's like with a electric launch. 